Unveiling the meaning of being underhanded. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, being underhanded. This phrase is commonly used in English, and understanding its meaning and usage can really enhance your language skills. So, let's get started. The term, underhanded, is an adjective that describes a deceitful, dishonest, or unscrupulous action. When someone is being underhanded, they are acting in a secretive and unfair way, often trying to trick others. It's important to understand that this term carries a negative connotation, implying disapproval of the actions described. To better understand the term, let's look at some examples. Sneaking around, someone might be underhanded by sneaking around to avoid being caught. Lying or misleading. Telling lies or misleading people for personal gain is an underhanded tactic. Cheating. Cheating in games, exams, or relationships can also be described as underhanded. Manipulation. Manipulating situations or people for selfish reasons is another form of underhanded behavior. Now, let's see how to use underhanded in sentences. The politician's underhanded tactics during the campaign were criticized by the media. I don't trust him, he has a reputation for being underhanded. Their underhanded deal was eventually exposed to the public. Understanding synonyms and antonyms can broaden your understanding. Synonyms, sneaky, deceitful, dishonest, unscrupulous. Antonyms, honest, straightforward, open, transparent. And that's a wrap on being underhanded. Remember, it's a term that describes dishonest or sneaky behavior, and it's definitely not a compliment. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.